Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about what it's like to first move into your house in first year, what it's like living alone, any struggles that you have to go through, challenges you'll be facing, and also the things that are amazing about it. So just taking you through all the first steps, what it's like to be a first year. So for me, moving into my first flat was a really fun experience. I absolutely loved it, but also it was really scary. It was so sad to be leaving my family. I didn't want to leave my parents. So they drove me there and then left me there. So it was quite an emotional time. I'm so grateful that my flatmates were really lovely. Uh, one of them today is still one of my best friends, so I'm so lucky with that. But obviously I understand that's not the case for a lot of people and that is nothing you have to worry about because that's perfectly normal. There's so many ways to make friends. Um, one example is joining a society, joining a club. So if you have any hobbies or even if you don't have any hobbies and you want to get get to learn some new hobbies, that is, this is one of your best ways too. So the societies at Bournemouth University vary from a cocktail society to a Taylor Swift society to a just a tennis club so it kind of covers every sort of thing anyone could be into and you don't have to be skilled at it it doesn't matter for example i'm in climbing club and you don't need to be at any level to be able to join that you can you can be a complete beginner and that's perfectly fine so in first year i didn't actually join any club which i did it's such a shame it gives you so many opportunities with meeting new people however i do understand it's so it's one of the scariest things to do because you are putting yourself in such a vulnerable position especially if you don't know anybody going into the club i was obviously lucky in my case in first year i did meet some good friends so it wasn't as big of a deal for me to join a club and meet new people however i did join a club in second year and I said earlier it was one of the best decisions i've ever made so another thing I'm going to be talking about is things like ni nights out and clubbing and going to bars, going out with friends in the evening. So obviously, especially for a first year at university, nights out is one of the main things that people talk about. Um, and I understand for a lot of people, they're not as interested in these things and they don't want to do these things. Um, and I think it's so important for people to realise that there are lots of people out there that don't like that and that doesn't matter. There's so many opportunities for every kind of person at university. There's always things to do if you don't enjoy nights out. Like I said, um, there's lots of clubs to join that won't involve lots of drinking. And also it's really important to not forget that there's loads of other people out there that are in the exact same situation that you will be able to make friends with and that you will meet. Um, it often feels at the beginning that you're not going to find any of your people, but you definitely will. Almost everyone will find their people, whether it is in the first term of first year or the second term of first year, or even in second year or third year. It's You'll be making friends throughout your entire experience in uni. And I think that's something that people often forget about. And it's really important to remember that you always have an opportunity to make friends wherever you go in uni, as long as you are open, open to it. So my final thing I'll be talking about is how to avoid getting homesick and how to avoid feeling a little bit down and lonely at uni. So I understand uni can be one of the hardest things mentally for people. Um, as you're obviously living alone for the first time, it's really challenging being in your own thoughts for a lot of the time. Particularly if you haven't found your people, um, you'll be spending a lot more time alone and that's not obviously a bad thing, but it can get really challenging and people will get homesick very easily. And it's also very normal. I got homesick quite a lot in the beginning of first year and that's nothing to be ashamed about. It's a perfectly normal thing as you're so used to being surrounded by family and friends and then being alone and having to make new friends. So one of the biggest things I think that helped me in first year was definitely FaceTiming people, giving family and friends a call from home, um, just chatting about your day, about the smallest things. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but I understand lots of people don't have people to FaceTime or call. Um, even the simplest things like putting up photos on your wall or creating a bit of a photo album, which is two things I did that really, really helped me. So my entire first year and second year walls were completely covered in photos of families and friends from home and friends from uni. And I think it massively, massively helped. And it's just also just a lovely thing to do and it makes your room look really nice. So I always say one of the best things to do is in first year, you are often given a flat that doesn't look the nicest. There's nothing special about it. But immediately you decorate it to make it your own, to give it some personality, put up some photos, put up some plants, give it some decoration. It will start to feel like home and it will be much a much nicer environment to be living in. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one.